In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to open up your shoulders and get into a better rack position, whether you're doing a high bar or a low bar back squat. Get up and get down, get up and get Hey guys, welcome back to Squat University. Today is all about getting into a better rack position. Now, when people struggle to get their bar on their back in a good position, it's often because they lack shoulder external rotation. Now, if you were to do a simple Google search, how to improve external rotation at the shoulder, you'll probably find someone showing an exercise like this, where they grab a PVC pipe and just crank backwards. Now, while you are getting external rotation movement, what you're also doing is placing excessive load and stress on the front side of your shoulder, particularly your anterior shoulder capsule. Now you do this enough and for long term, eventually you're going to overload those fibers and you can create shoulder pain and a little bit of instability in the front side of the shoulder. So I'm going to caution you against doing that. Most people don't need it. There are going to be some people that will benefit from it, but it's a last resort. Most people will benefit from improving external rotation by looking at things that are a little bit safer, working on their pecs and working on their lats. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna throw the PVC pipe to the ground. We're gonna be a little bit safer on our shoulder joint. And I'm gonna show you how to improve the flexibility of your pec muscles and your lat muscles to improve your external rotation so that you can get under a better rack position. Now, first off, let's talk pecs. We get a lot of bodybuilders, um, power lifters who are doing a lot of bench press, their shoulders are often stuck in this forward position. Their pecs aren't flexible enough to allow their body to open up and to externally rotate. So you're gonna take a ball and pin it against the rack. Now I'm using an Mobility ball today, which is great because it actually has a flat surface. It's gonna stick a little bit better against the rack, but you can do this with a, a lacrosse ball or a tennis ball as well. So what we're gonna do is pin it against the rack and you're going to get into the pec right where it runs all the way up. And from here, what we're gonna do is a tack and stretch, a little bit of active release. So you're gonna pin this against your pec and then you're gonna move your shoulder up and down and out to the side. So we're creating a little bit of tension into the muscle and then moving it over and down, just like this. Something like this, you're gonna to wanna to do maybe a minute to two minutes. And if you have some stiffness and inability of those muscles to elongate, this will improve the flexibility of that muscle, which therefore will allow you to move into external rotation. Because remember, the pecs are internal rotators of the shoulder. So that's step one. Now step two, we have to understand the lats. Now remember, those lats are big, strong muscles that create the V-shape on the back of your body. And if you're doing a lot of pulling motions, that's going to create a lot of stiffness in those lat muscles that won't allow you to elongate, get overhead, and externally rotate because the lats are powerful internal rotators. So by improving the flexibility, we allow our body, our shoulders, to open up. So we're gonna take that same Mobility ball. Again, you can take a lacrosse ball, tennis ball, and we're gonna trap it against a wall. From right here, we're gonna get this into the position where the lats run up and attach to your arm bone, your humerus, right outside your lateral armpit. You're gonna tack it down, and then again, you're going to move your arm. So you're gonna go up and down, maybe about a minute to two minutes, and again, you may have to do a little bit of searching around to find spots that are a little tender. You can go across your body, go up and down. But again, we're working on the lat's ability to extend and uh, actually flex all the way through, just like this, or elongates the word I'm looking for. So that is uh, step two. Now, the last step is doing just a good lat stretch. So we've hit the lats with soft tissue mobilization. We're gonna put the barbell back into the rack. This is your last step. You're gonna take your hand and you're gonna externally rotate your shoulder joint. Grab the barbell like this, hand on top, and what you're gonna do is sit your hips back and feel a good stretch in your lateral armpit right here. This is going to stretch those lat muscles again, something like this, maybe five reps for a 10 second hold. So we're here, sit the hips back. You can also swivel side to side, twist a little bit, see what brings out the biggest stretch right here to your lateral armpit. So those three things combined, we've got pec mobilization, we've got lat mobilization, and then a lat stretch. You do all those things and then get back under the barbell and that should allow your body the ability to externally rotate those shoulders a little bit more. And now I'm in a much more comfortable rack position. I don't have to have my elbows pulled under my body or my wrists extended like crazy. I can have a better, more stable rack position for a great looking squat. 
So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video and get some value out of it. If you did, send it to a friend that's dealing with a similar problem so they can get into a better technical rack position and not have the stresses on the elbow and the shoulders. A lot of times that's just because you're in a bad rack position. You improve mobility, you're gonna allow yourself to get into that better of a position. Not only are you gonna be feeling better, you're gonna be performing better. Again, thank you guys so much for checking out today's video. If you feel like you're getting value out of these videos, please click that subscribe button and so you can follow along to the rest of the videos that I put out from here on out. Uh, again, thank you so much. And until next week, happy squatting. They say that energy flows where attention goes so i pay no mind why waste my time with all these negative cats scratching so caught up in their egos these people have lost